Hello, good morning, and it's your boy Samuel Watson back on the farm. We are stringing tomatoes. Now, I'm gonna show you what's happening. Let's go. Now, this is a lovely day. My wife here is stringing tomatoes. She's gonna show you how she's doing it. Now this is the Florida weave, guys. The Florida weave. You stringing tomatoes, Martini? Yes. Now as you can see, guys, these tomatoes were planted out at a later date, but they are the same ones that were plant that were sold on the 29th and 30th of june let's see how they are looking quite tall right now and what you are looking at in the background there there they're the same tomatoes but we are going to show you how the florida weave is done Look at this massive plant. They weren't stake or tied when they were younger. And they, they are still going on quite well. And they are mighty fine. <laughs> they are beautiful. This is our first time planting tomatoes. It's a lot of work. Based on the stringing that you have to do. Some farmers leave them on the ground. So you see how they are looking when they are stringed. They are upright, standing tall. They will have to be stringed again maybe in a few days so just gonna go to the first and second row to show you how they are looking oh my god are these tomatoes <laughs> are these tomatoes look on these tomatoes they are very tall they are filled with tomatoes my god look at the bearing look at the bearing you see how these are lying on the ground we'll take them back up put them back up stake them ensure they are not lying on the ground once they are lying on the ground like this one look at this one it is lying on the ground you see what happens to the leaf This is what happens when your tomato is lying on the ground. This is called tomato blight. And it can spread to your other plants. So we don't want that. We are going to take them up off the ground. Look how tall these plants are. They are bearing abundantly. That's why it is good 
to string or stick your tomatoes. So we will be going down to the next garden shortly. But these are the plummy tomatoes. I'll show you how they are looking. They are bearing abundantly. That is good. See how tall these stakes are? I can assure you that these stakes are not really tall because they are going to pass them. See that? These need stringing again. These definitely need stringing again. Look how tall they get. My God, look at this bearing. Look at this bearing. Very nice. So, sweetie, you're going to finish up this taking and go down to the next garden, right? Alright, I will be going down to the next garden when my wife will finish taking these or stringing these. What are you doing, sweetie? Stringing tomatoes. My God, look at this garden. These are the slicing tomato guys and they are very, very tall. They are beautiful. As you can see, the top string, this is the second string, this is the first string. And within a few days, guys, we will definitely have to string again. These tomatoes are getting out of and four rows in total my well we have a job we have two double rows two single rows this is a single row We have a few blights in some sections. We sprayed for fungicide, insecticide. My God, look at these tomatoes. There is a lot of foliage on the outside, but if you go inside, there are lots of tomatoes inside. You just can't go inside right now. So we are just going to allow them to produce, get big. Then you can go inside and pick them. They are beautiful. Very, very beautiful. These trees are about four feet now, or four and a half feet tall, some of them. 